Hello, book people. Let's talk about the Southern Reach Trilogy by Jeff Vandermeer. The Southern Reach Trilogy is comprised of Annihilation, Authority, and Acceptance, three books that all revolve around the Southern Reach, which I'll talk about in a moment. But um, first of all, I have the bind-up edition. One of the, if you're interested in reading this uh, trilogy, one of your toughest decisions is going to be what edition to get, because my goodness, they are so many beautiful editions. So you got this, which is the um, the bind-up of all three in one volume, which I love this cover. Um, the back is cool. Yeah, I just, I don't think you can see that, but even like the reviews are in this kind of X format. It's really beautiful. That's cool. However, there are some really, really beautiful paperback editions too that I love that are uh, brightly colored and uh, have beautiful end paper. Uh, I love those too. And I just saw they're coming out with three new uh, editions. I think the paperback um, that are kind of based around this sort of a theme, but uh, they're also very beautiful. So it's like an embarrassment of riches. I don't know who Jeff Vandermeer had to bribe or whatever, uh, but gosh, there's so many beautiful editions of this trilogy. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You can't go wrong, I guess is the good part. There are uh, beautiful, three beautiful ways to get this, get these books. Possibly more for all I know. I don't know. There's probably some uh, foreign editions too. I went with this because I like big hardcovers. So there you go. So let's talk about what this is. Um, in this world, there's an area, a place called Area X, which is a, a an area along the coast in the southeastern United States that has been um, kind of taken over by a mysterious force, so to speak. Um, the vegetation grows very thick there. There's all kinds of weird occurrences. And actually, you cannot get in there safely but except through this one this one little door that the uh, the government very closely controls so that's area x the southern reach is the government organization that controls and is investigating area x and trying to figure out what's going on so in the first book annihilation we follow a a group of four women who are going in um, they're part of the southern reach they're going into area x to investigate um, they're the 11th expedition and um, the previous expeditions have, for the most part, not gone super well. Um, sometimes people haven't come back. When they have come back, there's some issues, which I won't uh, spoil, because uh, that's part of the fun, is kind of figuring, finding out what happened to the previous expeditions. But this group goes in there, and there's high hopes. One of the interesting things about this book, and one of the ways that it builds this atmosphere, is it doesn't very often in any of the three books call the characters by name so uh, in the first book you have the archaeologist the biologist the psychologist and the something else surveyor maybe or something i can't remember who the who the fourth one is but they are very rarely if ever referred to by name and that creates a very unique interesting um, atmosphere throughout so we follow them and i would say these books are uh, a little bit hard to categorize which is something that i like as far as genre goes um, my own books have occasionally been criticized for being like hard to categorize genre wise and uh, that's something that probably won't stop with my future books because uh, that's something that I, I i enjoy i enjoy books that are like that and this is that type of book um you could call it science fiction i guess would, would probably be the closest but there is definitely a strong horror element too and when i say that i mean like kind of the classical uh, H.P. Lovecraft, Edgar Allan Poe type of horror where it's more based around like just a sense of dread and nervousness and, and just just creepy weirdness uh, as opposed to like a lot of gore or you know jump scares or things like that. Um, it's a very bo a book that has an atmosphere that kind of makes you a little bit uncomfortable and, and, and I mean that in a good way. I'm not going to talk too much about the second and third books obviously because I don't want to spoil anything but I will say the second book focuses more um, a little bit more around the government organization, the Southern Reach. Based on like the Goodreads reviews and stuff, that seems to be people's least favorite book. I kind of went the other way with it, though. It was my favorite um, for a couple reasons. I don't want to get into it too much, of course, but um, I, I really thought it was it was interesting and it was uh, the perspective was interesting and seeing things more the inner workings of that government organization were very interesting to me. The book worked the best. I ended up giving the first one four stars, the second one, Authority, I gave five stars, and the third one, um, Acceptance, I gave four stars. If you're thinking about reading these books, I would recommend just going ahead and reading the first one. They're pretty short, and from that first one, I think you will get a sense whether you would like the rest. Now, I think the star of these books is not necessarily the plot. There is a good plot, and there are some neat surprises, and some some an interesting story that unfolds and all that um, however I don't think that's the star of the book really the star and what's it, when you read the first book if 
the atmosphere is really what grabs you. And that, like I said, that sustained sense of dread. If, if you like that and the characters, if you connect with the characters, definitely continue on with the series. Um, that atmosphere of dread and the interesting perspective of the characters continues throughout the whole series. So overall for me, it was a great trilogy. I'm so glad I read it. Like I said, the second book worked best for me. However, I think all three books are definitely worth reading, worth picking up. Uh, if you're in for a unique read that's a little bit uncomfortable at times, but uh, but has a very interesting perspective on the universe and the world, and uh, kind of makes you, it kind of made me one of those books where it kind of made me look out my window a little bit differently the next time I was I was looking out there and, and thinking about life and, and and the way the way things grow and, and all that stuff. Um, just 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 uh, skews your perspective just a little bit. So I recommend checking it out. That is the Southern Reach Trilogy by Jeff Vandermeer. If you've read it, let me know what you think below. Let me know if I'm crazy for liking the second book best. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.